What's up, folks? I'm Mike Tramalli here. I'm here with the Shakedown crew, where we're going to go over the movement standards for the 2014 Winter Shakedown. Wad number two of the, of the winter shakedown. Excuse me, brought to you by RX Smart Gear. Okay, so this is called the Juggernaut. So our theme is X Men, so I prefer this to be called Wolverine. And we'll call him Juggernaut. He's pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> so what's gonna happen is this program has a 14 minute cap. Okay, 14 minute and, and then your time's up. If you don't finish, you don't finish. If you do finish, then great. Okay, so it's gonna start with 20 synchronized. It says burpee plate. We're going to do burpees to a plate pickups. We're going to show that movement. Okay. 50 foot synchronized walking lunges. All right. Overhead walking lunges. Overhead, overhead walking lunges. So it's over, overhead. Above your head. We just wrote this up, by the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just put it together. <laughs> threw it together. 12 so rope climbs. As a team, 12 rope climbs. 80 deadlifts. All right, the weight's 205, 135. 40 handstand push ups. We do 12 muscle ups, ring muscle ups. 60 deadlifts. 30 handstand push-ups, 12 muscle-ups, ring muscle-ups, ring muscle-ups, we do 40 deadlifts, these are all barbell deadlifts by the way, 20 handstand push-ups, 12 muscle-ups, ring muscle-ups, with a ring, with a ring. Muscle. 20 synchronized plate burpees again, burpee as a pickups, pickups, it's getting really tidy, <laughs> <laughs> and then 50 foot synchronized overhead walking Walkie lunges, lunges to the finish as a team, as a team. Think of the synchronized thing you may think isn't that cool, but it looks sweet. All right, we thought synchronized burpee plate pickups. You're gonna, as a team of four, drop your chest to the plate and stand up at the same time while picking up your plate to the deadlift position. Katie and Dana are gonna show us. Like walking, yeah. Yeah. Up. One. Two. Nope, that wouldn't count, right? That would count. That's close. That would count. Yeah. yeah. As long as it's somewhat synchronized. It has to be somewhat synchronized, guys. It doesn't have to be a perfect science. Just make it look good. Okay? Make it look good. That's all we want. We want to entertain people. This is for Facebook. Yeah. Community. It's for Facebook and media and Instagram. I'm looking sexy. Okay. So once you finish our purpose. So fifth, once you do 20 of those as a team of four, you will pick up those bad boys above your head. And you will do the good old traditional overhead walking lunge together on your captain's pace. Knee will touch the ground every single time. Bar uh, and uh, plate will stay locked up above the head. All the way to the, your ropes. Your ropes, will be you. your ropes will be waiting to you at your far end of the gym. Where you will proud do 12 rope climbs between the four of you. Doesn't matter how. Katie Crow doesn't want to show, but she's going to anyway. Touch the top and come on down any way you would like. So for after the 12 roll climb, they will run to their deadlift bars. Two bars will be set up, 205, 135, and you will do a good old fashioned deadlift where the bar starts in the ground and you stand up into a full lockout position. Very nice. It starts on the ground. Stand everything and stand up and bring the barbell up. Simple, effective, fun, lightweight, should be very, very fast. From your really awesomely quick deadlift, you will run over to your hands and push-up area, which will be awesomely set up by RX Smart Gear with an RX Smart Gear mat and some really sweet forged plates, okay? And you will perform your hands and push-ups just like you've done traditionally. You will... <laughs> Yeah. You can do strict, you can do kipping. Oh. Um, if you kip, make sure your back of your heels touch the wall behind you. All that traditional <laughs> stuff. Um, I'm so flexible. <laughs> you know how to do hands and push-up, guys. Traditional hands and push-up movement. You have a little slight, you, we're gonna have about an inch, inch and a half deficit there though. So be prepared for that. An inch, you know what that's about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> After your sweet hands and push-ups, you will come on over and knock out 12 sweet looking muscle ups. You will show full extension at the bottom and any grip you would like. We don't care about your hand turnout. 
Full extension, full lockout, full control, all that stuff. No reps will be not locking out at the top and not showing full extension at the bottom. Traditional muscle. <laughs> Doesn't she have nice muscle ups? She's good for Facebook pictures. Yes, very good. You get some cool action shots. Mom will like this one. Tag me mom and hashtag mom. Hashtag. Hashtag muscle ups. Hashtag muscle ups. Instagram, if you change some of the settings, you can look pretty ripped too. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, the lighting. <laughs> Hashtag shakedown series. Don't There's the that. yoked filter. <laughs> the yoked filter. Okay, so guys, those are all the movements, all right? We're going to go over no reps in a sec. However, once you've gone through those movements, you will then go through them again. So the reps are going to cut down to now 60, then 30 then 12, and then it's gonna cut down from there. So it's pretty much, once you get through your synchronization part, it's pretty much three rounds with a descending ladder of uh, numbers. Cool. No reps of the synchronized plate burpee pickups will be not touching your chest to the plate, not standing all the way up, and just being grossly out of sync. Katie Daniel Demps. I think you guys got the idea. <laughs> Synchronized burpee plate. So the overhead walking lunge. Synchronized overhead walking lunge will be not having a full lockout with the plate above your head. Um, there can be some bend in the elbows. However, you can't have like a bicep curl and it can't touch your head. It can't rest on your head. Also, you have to be synchronized. These are no reps. Very clear. These are all no reps. You see how messed up these are? These are these stink. You gotta be together. Knee has to touch the ground. Knee doesn't touch the ground, it's no rep. You got like this. If he's going, he's <laughs> there done. Now, please. <laughs> rope climb, no rep. A great example, I've fallen off a rope in competition before, so if you fall uncontrollably, that's no rep, unfortunately. It stinks, you, especially when you touch the top. You have to touch the top, but if you fall uncontrollably, that's a no rep. Also, if you don't touch the top, that's a no rep. But you can come down with control. We don't care how you come down. Come down with control and it's a, it's a solid rep. Just don't fall off the rope, which would suck. Okay, deadlift, no reps. Um, traditional deadlift, no, nothing other than a traditional deadlift. Um, if you sumo deadlift it, strongman style, it'll be a no rep, unfortunately. Um, you also have to touch the ground and you must stand all the way up with a full lockout for the rep to count. If you don't extend and you don't come the full lockout, obviously that rep won't count. Um, one of the very common things we see with light deadlifts is people going really fast but not coming to full extension. Okay, so then I'll show a couple. They just, they just bounce, but they don't ever stand up. And with, that was great, but that's not gonna count. Um, also, you can't bounce the weight. So we've seen this before in competition. Don't use the momentum of the barbell to get your next deadlift weight. There you go, bounce. It's light enough to where we might see that, but we're not gonna allow that either. No rep deadlift, deadlift no reps. Handstand push up, no reps. Um, biggest common thing is you don't touch your head to the mat on the way down. That's a no rep. And you don't, when you do a kip, you don't have your uh, heels come back to the wall, you just come right on. So that was a good rep, actually. You can't do that. You can't do that. This is no reps. You can't. You have to come up. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a solid no <laughs> rep right there. So, and you have, oh, yes, this is actually very common. Two things we didn't mention. You have to start in a handstand for the rep to count. You cannot start in a headstand. So if you do start in a headstand, <laughs> this first rep that Katie does, if she does a rep, would be a rep. Would not count. And the second is you have to show lockout of your arm. If you don't show lockout of your arm, it doesn't count can't have a constant pebble bend. Pretty, pretty self explanatory. We go with the no reps as you're going up and down. So, those are the standards of the 2014 Winter Shakedown Series. series. Brought to you by the Shakedown Series. Billy Farr is behind the camera. He's loving it. He's loving life today. He's happy. He's happy guy. So, yeah. We'll Fair see up. you guys. Okay. Did you say it's Para? Yeah, it's Para. It's Para. Right. I messed his name up. It's Para. Right. You dick. You got the epic motherfucker.